five, four, three, two, one. What's up guys, this is Joe14, and I'm here today with... Your favorite Takeshi dude. Best ever. You're the only Takeshi dude. Yeah, but that doesn't mean I can't be the favorite. Okay, I'll do that. <laughs> and we are here today with the 28th episode of FaceCast. It has been a while, guys. It's been almost it's been a, a month since we've while. done a FaceCast episode. Because we've done so many specials, and we've been so busy, with, at least I've been so busy with Collection of Max. Um, so it's been a while, and we also didn't have a whole lot of topics, <coughs> but apparently the one topic that I was planning on doing has got a lot of information built up, and I'm not even sure if we should discuss everything for it, because some of it seems like kind of old news. It might be but, better um, if we broke it up if it gets way too long. Um... It's not going to be long, but it, the question is how much should we focus on each other. Let's just jump okay. into it. So, first topic is Nerf. First segment's Nerf. So, this is pretty much everything we're going to be discussing. There has been a ton of new information recently. So, I'm going to show you the first link. Um, I'm not sure how much you've been keeping up with uh, Nerf Absolutely lately. Absolutely not but, at all. Um, uh, Hasbro has decided to start doing a new line of Nerf guns um, after Nerf Elite that is called Nerf Zombie Strike, and basically it's just guns that are, look like like they'd be used in a zombie apocalypse. Apocalypse, and they've got like bandages all over the handles and stuff, and it actually looks really cool. Mm. Uh, so there are a ton of new blasters for this. The first one. Um, is the sling fire. The, these are uh, the newer ones we already discussed in a previous episode, um, a bunch of the original ones that were going to be released, but um, these are the newest, most recent ones. Um, I've got another link right there with um, the Nerf Double Strike, uh, which is a pistol. So basically the sling fire uh, appears to be a... Rifle? I think it's a shotgun. Oh. I think it's a shotgun. Let's find out. I have not been keeping up with Nerf lately very much because after I got my Rapid Strike, um, I really didn't get into the Zombie Strike very much because I prefer weapons that have lots of ammo, whereas Zombie Strike is very shotgun and pistol and low amounts of ammo, the type of thing that you'd have if you're just at the last holdout of a zombie apocalypse and not really like machine guns or anything mm -hmm. like that. And personally, I prefer that those kinds of things. But um, uh, I can't. I still can't tell whether or not it is a shotgun or not. It appears to be... It's got a clip in it, so that makes me think rifle. And yet there's a handle underneath that makes me think it that's might... That's part of the cocking mechanism. Yeah, and that's usually... That kind of cocking me mechanism is usually used for the shotgun. Well, it's not like it can actually shoot like a shotgun. Although that would be the best Well, it wouldn't thing actually for... fire like a shotgun, but it would be... It's a... It's not, uh, it's got a similar mechanism. So I'm going to skip over that one. It looks kind of cool, but uh, it's interesting that they're using a clip. I believe this is the first um, clip system uh, Nerf Zombie Strike gun. Everything else up until this point, I believe, has been um, non-clip. Non then next up we have the Double Strike, which is a uh, double barrel pistol, which is basically a beefed up triad. And, uh... I'm not super interested. It looks kind of cool, and I like how they have the rear-loading um, cocking mechanism, so you could possibly dual-wield these. Ooh, However, yeah. I probably wouldn't dual-wield something that would uh, only fire two shots. I'd prefer the hammer shot, which can use five and has the same mechanism. <sighs> so, eating through those two topics, we are going to jump into the next group of topics. We have... Uh, some Nerf Mega stuff. 
we have the Nerf Mega Thunderbow, which is basically, it looks to me... What in the world? I don't know how to describe it. It's like a bow with darts. It's very confusing. And uh, as cool as it is, um, the only real benefit of this is that the fact that it shoots uh, 100 feet. Does it really? Yes, it, the Mega Series shoots 100 feet. That seems a bit ambitious. You really haven't been keeping up, have you? No, no, I tell you, I don't, I don't really... <laughs> they've already released two guns, and they've actually lived up to it. The first one shoots about 100 feet, the second one is a pistol. It, I know, a pistol that shoots yeah. 100 feet is scary, <clears throat> but it's actually... Um, it, the range is tested is about 75, but that's still kind of scary. I, I... 75 or 80 feet. Uh -huh. It's insanely big, too, so it's like, it's like this giant pistol. It looks kind of ridiculous, if you ask me. But, um, the one that is piqued my interest the very most is the Demolisher. And that this is the awesome. first thing we've seen in so long that actually uses a rocket instead of a dart. And I'm so happy about this. And not only is it a rocket, but it's uh, an underslung grenade launcher rocket. So it's not just the rocket, it actually has a dart launcher. It's got, like, one and of on top clips. of that... The dart is a banana clip, and I am curious how many shots it has. Ten dart banana clip, that's weird. Uh, I'm also curious if this is compatible with other clips, or if this is just a single clip, because it would be insanely cool if you could put an 18 dart clip or a drum in there. Yeah. Let's find out. Four AA batteries required? For the demolisher? Yeah. Where does it say that? Um, under the first picture, at the bottom of the first paragraph, under that. Why would it need double A? Is it an auto fire? It would appear that it is an auto. What the heck? This is actually really cool looking. How much is it? Let's see. Forty dollars. That's not bad. That's hmm. like. I might actually get that. The only downside that I could see is that the extra. Um, rocket looks kind of ridiculous hanging in the back of yeah. that stock there. I'd probably take that off and pocket it instead. Mm -hmm. um, I like how they have a barrel attachment. The one thing that would absolutely make it a uh, for sure buy is if I knew for a fact that clip could uh, fit in other guns and if you could put bigger clips in or bigger clips in there, or if it's a uh, one, if that's uh, the only clip that can fit in there. Okay. So, um, yeah, that is kind of cool. Um, next up, we have something that is very controversial. That's <clears throat> kind of well. A lot of a lot of people are not sure if they like this yet. It is called the Nerf Elite Cam ECS12. It is basically a rapid strike with a camera on top of it. What? And it's crazy. And I personally think it would be cool, but the real things are the killer is the price and whether or not the camera is actually very good. Um, people say the camera is decent considering it actually comes with the gun and it's produced by oh, Hasbro. Wow. But um, uh, people that are like true fans of Nerf that actually would go and like want to deck out their gun would go buy one. So for kids, this would make sense because you don't actually have to buy them a camera yeah. and the camera works in there, but I personally would probably not <coughs> end up buying this. <clears throat> um, on top of that, the, yeah, the price is the killer. It's $75 US, whereas it's basically, it's a rapid strike with um, a, uh, the camera on top, and the rapid strike's 40 so it's almost doubling the price for that camera. Hmm. Okay. And I'm not sure if I, I buy into that. Yeah, because you could just, like, strap a GoPro to your any other gun. Exactly, exactly, GoPro. I want to I wanna get one of those. My dad's got one. Another thing I don't like is that it's only a 12 round clip. Really, really, they could have put 18. Just, just for the heck of it. 12, 12 round clip is not, was not necessary to put in there because that just lowers the value. Um, next up, we have something that's kind of interesting that I did not see coming. Um, there is a group called Orange Modworks that creates uh, modified pieces for Nerf guns so that you can increase the range and uh, accuracy and such. And they recently came out with a new prototype um, that is basically, it's a 25 round clip, which that in itself is amazing. 
But uh, the cool part is that it has a uh, clip attachment, so you can actually clip it to your belt. So they actually have these um, Ooh, pieces that you attach to your belt, and you can actually clip it on. And it's supposed to be uh, very easy to use, but uh, a few things that I don't like about it is the fact that it only works with Stefan's, or otherwise you have to mod a clip in order to work with normal darts, which I personally prefer. I don't use Stefan's. What the heck are Stefan's? Uh, and then they're modded nerf darts that are designed to shoot farther and they're shorter than normal nerf darts. So they're they a normal nerf dart would not fit in there unless it was modded. Um, on top of that, uh, it's also kind of expensive. I'm pretty sure this is like twenty five dollars for two clips and um, two belt straps, hmm. or maybe it was forty. I can't remember. And the shipping's kind of high too. I only made I've only made one order for them from them, and the thing I remember most was the cost of the shipping it was like twelve bucks. Okay. So it's only good if you want to buy you know, a lot of stuff at once. You'd never go there and buy just one thing. And lastly, segment two, Tech Recon Predator. So um, those of you who have been listening to the podcast series for quite a while now um, know that a while back, I can't remember exactly, but I think it was like episode 11 or 12, um, I did a review on uh, a series called Tech Recon that is basically uh, a it's basically another range of blasters that's um, trying to add to what Nerf has, except for um, they use a different mechanism. <coughs> it's completely their own. It doesn't use darts uh, like Busby and stuff where they just rip off what Nerf has. Um, they've completely created their own idea where it uses rubber bands instead. And these are really cool because they shoot really far. They're just as reusable. And, um, yeah, I really like that. Wow. Uh, so there were two blasters that were released originally, two blasters that they created called the Hammerhead and, ooh, let's see if I can remember what the last one's called, the Havoc, uh, and it was basically a pistol and a rifle. And so up until now, we haven't heard a whole lot from Tech Recon, it's just been prototyping, um, stuff, but they've never actually showed stuff, but, uh, just recently they posted pictures of a third new blaster that they're coming out with called the Tech Recon Predator. And basically what this is is a giant uh, bullpup, kind of bullpup machine gun. Um, yeah, it's insanely awesome. Uh, the main feature is that it has a hundred round cartridge clip. Yes, the first ones that came out, I believe the Havoc held 30, 50, or 60, I can't remember which is which, because they were doing a lot of prototyping and they kept changing the numbers, I don't remember which one originally um, uh, ended up coming out, but it was a lower number than this, 100 is a ton, and you can just see that that thing's packed to the brim with uh, the NRG rounds, which is insane, and uh, it also would appear that they've got some tactical rails, and I'm not sure whether or not the sight, or I believe that is a uh, red dot sight on the bottom, whether or not uh, they actually come with, or if you have to buy them separately, or if they don't exist at all and they're just used in the prototyping images. But they actually look very, very cool. And I'm excited about this. I am going to try and get my hands on a Havoc or a uh, Hammerhead sometime in the near future. They're kind of difficult to get, especially brand new ones, because I can't seem to find them on Amazon, uh, at least not brand new ones. So I'll try and get my hands on one, and I'm probably going to do a review on that. And if I ever get a chance to get my hands on one of these, I will be very happy. So I think that is pretty much it. <laughs> it's better than what Master does. That gun looks pretty sweet, is all I have to say. <laughs> so after that really bad imitation of Meso, uh, I'm going to wrap it up. Thank you guys for listening. I was Joe14, and I was here with. Yep. See you guys. <laughs>